Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to get back on this bad boy. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. Woo! Man, this is a fun build. Wait till you see what we got in store. All right, I'm gonna do some B-roll, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. I'll put my website link up in the cards and it's the first in the description with Instagram and my email. Alright, let's just get to it. So if you watched the last video, I went up to A65 after an 80, but I wasn't really happy with it. I'm gonna dike him this up and then we're going back to a 120 and then I'll just speed through the belts until we get to like a, a higher finish. Maybe A16 or something, we'll see. I notice it's a little thicker right here than here. Then it comes back down, so we have to thin it out. So, all right, I gotta bring this in a little bit right here. Not too bad, not too bad at all. <laughs> all right, A65, I'm gonna go A65, A30, then I got these Norlex uh, A16s I wanna try out. Instead of 3M, I think they're Norton, so I'll get, uh, I'm just gonna do a montage of the next few belts and I'll come back on the Norlex, see how we think.
So this is a Norton. See, here's like a Trizac. They're about the same, it seems. I thought these Trizacs had harder edges, but I guess that's the, the structural, the ceramic structural ones. Yeah, let's give it a shot, see how we turn out and how we like it. All right, I'm gonna try just going right to the micro mesh and see how it works. We might have to do a 1200, we'll see. But I think A600, I think A16, I mean, is uh, like 2000, something like that. I don't know. Micro mesh 2500. I guess it'll be time to go dip it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Can you see my shirt? There we go. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> All right. Boom. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm actually trying a new setup for my buffer. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see I put like sliders all the way up across the ceiling and all kinds of stuff so I can get every part of the shop I can get with uh, my cameras, <laughs> hopefully. Just to get this main surface off before I put the flints on, I'm just gonna use some green because it's already out of mirror, so let's try this. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, I gotta do the other side for Instagram. <laughs> then we'll get on the handles. Let's get these handles marked out, cut out, and all that good stuff. Whew. I'm trying a new camera up here. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you know I put mounts and sliders all over this side of the room, not just by the grinder. So we're hooked up. That's how I got those two shots for the buffer. Try to get as much as we can out of this because we're cutting this back, you know, up like that. At least I am. <laughs> 
to the bandsaw. That was a lot of setup for just those little two marks, but that's all right. <laughs> Boom, got it all clamped up for one side. Let's get these three drilled. Then I'll clamp the other ones on and we'll get that drilled. Probably call it a night. <laughs> all right, let me get the clamps on then we'll uh, do the other one. I got my quarter inch bolts. Boom, boom. Drill this one out, put the bolt through all the way through. You got to make sure we're clearing everywhere. It's a little low there, but I think we'll be good. Yeah, we're clearing here. So, boom. Clearing everywhere up there. Got to use two for this with a big one. Pull it in, pop it through, boom. <laughs> yeah, boom. Now what I do, because the pivots are too tight with G10 and carbon fiber, and you gotta be real careful here because it'll pull through and, anyway, I just kinda hit it on the end and I wobble it. Just to spread it over, just on the ends though, not any thicker. And that way your pivots fit in. See, they're only going in. See, the pivots are only going in as much as I drilled. <laughs> Pop it through, boom. So, now see, these probably won't fit because they're too tight. We need to open them up a little bit. Yeah, see? Well, yeah, see? Huh? So I'm a liar. <laughs> there we go, boom. We're on. But if they get too tight, yeah, just flare them out a little bit. But see, now these fit all perfect. See, boom. To the grinder. Let's get on this handle. I got the big wheel. I got this all squared up, ready to go. Boom. All right, I think this is a 120. No, this is 80. This is the 80 we just used in the last video, which I'll put up in the cards for uh, doing the bevels and stuff. Just use and reuse until they don't work anymore. <laughs> I always save my belts, you know, for handles and stuff and breaking 90s and all that until they're dead. <laughs> Never seen that before. The G10 in the middle are sticking together and making a little smolder. I just had to put one out down there, so be careful with that. I guess it's getting all clogged up here. Huh, that's never happened. Guess I'm going too hard at it. <laughs> just be careful.
I always stop right here because I'm gonna bring this down. Figure out how you like to do them. I'm gonna put my small wheel attachment on, take them off, put them together. And... All right, let's get to. <laughs> You'll see. All right, let's do it. Alright, I'm gonna go mark it out, cut them both on the bandsaw, and then I'll bring them back. Alright, here we go. We got them straight. I already did this size for Instagram. So, uh, yeah, then we'll throw the big wheel on and uh, let's get it. Let's get the big wheel on, and then we'll finish it all like that. Now remember, I would stay at least an eighth or a sixteenth away from your edges. You can blend all that when you put it back on the knife. All right, we'll put it back on the blade and then finish it up. Got her back on. So I, I, I cleaned up here. You know, since you can take these off, it's not as important because you don't have to sand it. So you'll have to take it off and sand it off anyway. But it eh, just looks good. So now we're just going to round everything off. And then, uh, yeah, whew, man, she feels good. <laughs> Let's do it. The rest is hand sanding, then uh, sharpening, since I'm not doing a sheath for this. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, got my reader set up vertically, got my platform, I'm standing up, I'm like six inches in the air. <laughs> I usually use the prop up one foot. Anyway, I haven't finished the handle, but I figured I just gotta go ahead and sharpen it, because I can take these handles off, and they just need hand sanding. Yeah, let's do it. Got a 120 brand new, and then I'll just go up to, uh, I don't know, we'll see how high we want to take it. If you follow me on Instagram, I put a shim in here. The belt's running backwards, so now everything lines up real nice.
You already got a burr. <laughs> I guess I'll go back and forth. I'll do 120. I'll do one grit for YouTube, one grit for Instagram. <laughs> I'll be back on, uh, let's see. I'll be back on 830, I guess. <laughs> this is an 845. I just did a 320 for Instagram. But uh, I'm going to go up 830 and then the, Nor the Norton. I can't speak. The Norlax, Norton, whatever it's called. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna make that a montage. No more speaking. We'll come back after we're done and see where we're at. drop and I got a little piece of paper just to check it I mean that's right off the belt <laughs> not too bad but let's go strap that bad boy <laughs> Woo! yeah fun times fun times just to finish this all up I might just show you how I strap <laughs> what a what an odd one to choose but uh yeah just same angle maybe even slightly higher than what I did off the belts Pull it back. Now the belt grinder was hard for me because of this arm when I was pulling, but uh, you know, I can always flip it over here and do it like that. I just didn't feel comfortable doing it like that on the belt grinder. Cause you know, even though the belt's going away from me, having the blade pointed to my belly just I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't seem right. The belt is pulling it away, but uh, uh, I don't know. Something about motion and having a sharp blade pointing at your belly. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Man. <laughs> fun times, fun times. Yeah, and that's only 200 grit hand sand, so uh, we got to look at pretty good. I mean, it's got rough edges, of course, but this is what I'm keeping. Usually, I finish them up to like an 800 and smooth it all out and all that, but I had to get, I had to make it look good for the thumbnails. <laughs> so I hope everyone's staying safe out there. Protect yourself, all you guys that have to go to work and are in the industry of uh, taking care of other people or even stores, post office. I had to go ship something at the post office every day and I thanked everyone there for being there. I mean, these are hard times, so any anyone that's helping, man, it's, it's appreciated. We all gotta do our part. Yeah, let's, let's stick together and ride this out. All right, lecture over. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. My website link's up in the cards, the first in the description. Whew, I know that's tacky, but <laughs> you say something heartful and then you have to follow it up with ads. If you've been here for a while, you know I, I, I suck at sales and promotion, but I got shirts like this, I got knives, all that good stuff. Stay safe out there, hope y'all are doing well, and as always, take it easy.